Hi everybody, this is Mr. Walker and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Creative Commons license of the work that you create as a student. So let's say you're working on a project for school and you take some pictures or other images or put together something that is really unique and cool and you want credit for what you've done and, uh, and to give yourself not only the credit but to make sure that others understand that it's yours and that if they want to use it they need either permission or they need to uh, share it in a way that's similar to how you put things together. Well a way to do that is to create what's known as a Creative Commons license. Creative Commons is a way for you to get credit for the work that you've done and also make sure that people who might want to use your work attribute the work to you so that you get credit for it. So I've got a blog post that I've put together and in that blog post I've got this picture that I took over winter break. And I kind of like the picture and want to kind of get credit for it and also um, treat it in a way so that if someone else wants to use it they can but they need to give me credit for it. So I would use create a Creative Commons license that I can put on this work in my blog to kind of show that. So to do that, we're going to go to creativecommons.org slash choose and you get a page that looks like this and now you can kind of pick the features that you want to have. So for example, it says allow adaptations of your work to be shared. You can either say yes or no. Maybe um, yes, but I want share alike so that they have to share it the same way the way it's set up. Um, maybe you want it set up so that people can't make money from your work, so you would say no here for allow commercial uses of your work. And the license ends up looking like this. It's Creative Commons, it's shareable, but you can't make money for it, and it has to be shared the same way. Down here in the next step, you can title your work, call it Bump, Bumpy Path, I'm going to put my name in there, if I can spell, like so. If I wanted to put a web address on there, I could do that. So that comes to there. Um, I can put a source work if I want, etc. And what happens is you're going to see something like this. Bumpy Path by Michael Walker's License Under Creative Commons, non-commercial, share alike. So that's something that can be put on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code down here. And I'm going to just use the normal arc icon. And then I'm going to come over to Blogger. And on a lot of websites, you're going to have to change it into the HTML portion of this. So I'm going to type in HTML here and I'm going to go in and pop this code in and then switch back and let's see what that looks like. So here it puts that code in and now when I preview it's going to show that license right there. So you can create this license and you can put it on blog posts, you can put it on your website if you're making a portfolio for something. Maybe you're doing this for a passion project in 10th grade or maybe it's for a, a service learning project in 7th or 9th grade or something like that. You can, If you create something or you take pictures and you want them licensed, you can go to Creative Commons slash create and create something like that. All right, if you have any questions, you can take a look on the Creative Commons site. They've got nice tips and, and resources for you if you'd like to know how you can uh, get credit for the work that you do. Thanks and have a great day.